Let's talk a little bit about the life cycle of your Codespaces uh, session. So whenever you're launching a Codespace, there are a couple of uh, things that you want to know about the differences between running on the web and running locally. So when you're running on the web, and here I'm referring to the GitHub documentation, there's a couple of uh, things uh, here about autosave specifically. When you're running on the web, autosave is enabled automatically. So that means that whenever you're making any changes on the web, your changes are automatically persisted. They're saved, and so you're not gonna lose that. And these, these uh, instances, these uh, remote compute where it's running, you won't lose those, uh, those changes unless you destroy, you delete, you remove that uh, code space instance, you destroy that container, that instance that is running. However, when you connect uh, to a code space through Visual Studio Code running on your local computer, you must enable autosave because that setting is not is not there. So if you if you don't enable autosave, then the behavior is going to be going to be different. And the GitHub documentation does point to uh, doing safe autosave uh, in Visual Studio Code. Uh, that's very well documented and not a problem. So just something to keep in mind if you're running local versus on the web, that's a, a, a difference that you must be uh, careful with. Next, let's talk about Codespace's timeout. So if you're running a Codespace and after 30 minutes you're not doing anything, that Codespace will uh, will not destroy, but it will kind of like shut down and it will not be active. Uh, that your data is always preserved, as you can as you can see here. Your data is preserved from the last time your changes were saved, but the the code space will be stopped. That means that whenever you want to connect uh, to it, it will take it will take a second to to try to come up with that code space uh, running again. Now, uh, the last thing that I want to show you about the life cycle is the 30, 30 days by default uh, where your, your uh, code space will be deleted. So I'm going to open up a new tab here. This is again my account. I'm going to go here to the drop down and I'm going to go and select my code spaces. That's the menu item right there. I'm going to click there and you will see that there's several uh, several code spaces that I've been opening and I've been doing a lot of uh, different things here. Um, you can see some of them are even been open uh, for for a very, very long time. In, in here, you can go and uh, delete them, change the machine type, open up in a browser and Visual Studio Code. So you have more uh, more of these uh, changes or configuration changes here and this is uh, the the URL is actually kind of like it's it's uh, universal because it's github.com slash code spaces so if you go there you'll be able to configure these nicely so if I want to delete this one say for example uh, I'll say okay um, now by default uh, most of these code spaces will go away in 30 days uh, this keeps changing because you can see here that there's a few that I was uh, opening up uh, like a year ago, and that's uh, that's definitely not good. So I want to go ahead and delete those and uh, start cleaning up what the code spaces that I've left behind are. So those are a few things that you uh, want to keep in mind: the 30-day by default, 30-day limit that you have for code spaces that will get deleted, and and you'll get an email saying, "Hey, by the way, this is going to get deleted," and the autosave and the timeouts when you're not using your code space.